This coveted top diplomatic job is, for the first time, going to a woman. Dame Karen Pearce is currently the UK's ambassador to the UN. Known as a straight talker, she has four decades of foreign service experience, much needed at a challenging time. Now we've left the European Union, uh, I want to find out those new opportunities uh, and exploit them, use them, develop them uh, for the benefit of the UK, but also for the benefit of America, and hopefully find ways also to have more people-to-people -people links uh, as we do that. Pierce has been a strong presence at the UN, taking on Russia over issues like Syria and the poisoning in the UK of former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal. Allowing Russian scientists uh, into an investigation uh, when they are the most likely uh, perpetrators of the crime in Salisbury would be like Scotland Yard inviting in Professor Moriarty. Uh, so I don't think that's a tenable uh, way forward. Her diplomatic skills are much needed at the Washington, D.C. Embassy after the controversial, embarrassing exit of her predecessor. The last ambassador here was, of course, Kim Darroch, who resigned last year after leaked diplomatic cables revealed that he characterised the Trump administration as clumsy and inept. Unsurprisingly, Trump did not take this well, firing back on Twitter, the wacky ambassador that the UK foisted upon the United States is not someone we are thrilled with, a very stupid guy. President Trump had recommended Nigel Farage for the role. Now he has a hugely respected and experienced woman. If you just kind of say, is this a perfect relationship made in heaven, the answer is no. On the other hand, uh, Ambassador Pierce would not have risen to where she is already would not be appointed if she were not a great diplomat. And so I think uh, one can expect her to figure out how to operate in a Washington which is anything but normal. The issue of Huawei will be among her challenges, with President Trump reportedly apoplectic over the UK's decision to allow the Chinese tech giant to supply portions of its 5G wireless network. But her biggest job will be smoothing negotiations over the post-Brexit trade deal, all under the watch of a most unpredictable U.S. leader. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Washington.